have reached rest grace with rwgresearch.com. Open dash source dash energy. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Russ with rwgresearch.com. So today I'm going to actually be unboxing this nozzle that I got from Chris from Germany. So DDD Materials sent me this sample and I am basically testing it out for them, giving them feedback. Now right now you can't even buy this nozzle. The reason I'm even making this video is because they've started a Kickstarter and you can get in and do some cool stuff with the Kickstarter if you go now. And I really think this is a great nozzle for 3D printing. So let me unbox it. I'll show you that clip now and then we'll come back here and I'll talk a little bit more. Short video, keep it sweet, simple. What's up everybody? Russ with rwgresearch.com here. Check it out. I could not wait to open this, so I'm going to do it right now. FYI, yes, I have a shipping address. You can ship things there if you wish. From Chris, for me. What is it? What is it? What is it? I know what it is. It's from Germany. All the way from Germany. There's a tab there. Da 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 da. What is it? Ah. Yes. This. This is what it is. This is a product that you can't buy. Yet. You will be able to buy. Soon. And I have been asked very kindly by Chris to test it out and see what I think. So, there it is. Da 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 da. It's heavy. Wow, it's like very dense. So, what is it, you say? Tungsten nozzle. For 1.75 millimeter filament. This guy is 0.4 millimeters. Just beautiful. Beautiful. It's an M6 thread on there. Let's get a closer look. So, for the moment, this is a prototype. This is a test piece, and like I said, I've been asked very kindly to test this out, so I thought I would make a video of unboxing it, because it's pretty cool. It's very heavy. Like, it looks so small, but it's, it's very heavy. So this is a Kickstarter project, like I said, and uh, yeah, it's quite exciting to see, uh, to see this in my hands. I'm sure Chris will enjoy seeing me hold it. It's really small, you know? Like all the other nozzles, nozzles are huge. This guy is tiny, which is great. It's fantastic, actually. Okay, so there you go. Um, basically, I was sent this to test it out and just see what I think, give them feedback. They can make design changes and just overall get some actual real world testing. They actually did a really good job at doing testing. Um, they sent this these particular nozzles with different stuff all over the place had the people who really like 3D printing or in 3D printing test these things out and then send them back feedback um, so basically the Kickstarter is happening right now you can get these nozzles for $29 um, if you go and actually do some of the uh, Kickstarter stuff the final price is $39 this is all US dollars there's also Euro and I'm not going to do the conversion for you. I'm just doing U.S. dollars so you guys know what's going on. But um, basically, I really think that Chris deserves some support with his kickstarting campaign. A lot of people, um, you know, they're, they have an idea, but it takes a lot, a lot, a lot of work to actually pursue the idea. So Chris is doing lots of things. This is one project that he's working on, and I really give the guy love and support. Not because he sent me a sample for, for free, but because the man is trying to do something really cool. Now, this particular nozzle, um, some of the things that, that he's trying to make sure, you know, that I'm, these are some of the things I'm testing according to what they think. So, does not scratch glass. Um, 
just so you know, this is not a review. This is just an introduction video. I'm going to actually be using it for a while and then give you a review. Does not scratch glass. I tested that one out. It seems to work great. Now, if you're 3D printing stuff like carbon fiber and stuff, which I'm not, but if you are, you're going to wear through nozzles really fastly. And they make diamond tip nozzles for 3D printing for carbon fiber, but they'll scratch the glass and stuff like this. And this seems like a better thing. So, um... Thermal conductivity is very good. I can verify that because um, I have this ring right here. This is not super scientific, but I have this ring right here. It's made of silver. When I touch it against something hot or cold, I can feel how fast it conducts heat. And silver is a great conductor of heat. So I did a similar test with the tungsten and I can just tell by touch because I've been burned and frozen a few times with this ring that it does have a very high thermal conductivity. So that's helpful for keeping a uh, steady temperature and stuff like this. Um, he says a lower uh, expansion coefficient than brass and steel. I'm not exactly sure. You'd have to look at the specs. I haven't looked that one up yet. Uh, more wear resistance, which we touched. Reduced tempering effect. Uh, and there's a few other things on here. These are some of the preliminary stuff. You should go to the Kickstarter and look that up. But anyway, I'm not going to make this video really long. I just really wanted to get the Kickstarter campaign out there and show you what the guy, you know, what the nozzle looks like in someone's hand. And um, there's a few other people out there in the world testing these. So I'm just one guy. I don't even know who all is out there testing. Um, so we'll see how it goes. That's all I got. I just want to say, go to the Kickstarter campaign, check it out. If it's something you're interested in, you can get a nozzle for cheap at this exact moment compared to a later price. But either way, Chris deserves the support for getting out there and actually doing something. It's a lot of work, Chris, and your small team, I believe you have. So God bless you guys. Have a good day. Peace. See you later. Bye.